Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Auto's HQ. So today, guys, we are going to continue with the Ford Cougar um, and that wheel bearing that was uh, causing us some proper issues yesterday. Um, it was just such a pain, but they are. That's what they are. As soon as they get seized, as soon as they get uh, all rusty, um, you know, they kind of just weld each other the uh, <clears throat> the clip actually welds to the hub, um, and you, you just got to rather replace the whole hub, or just keep going at it. Um, and that is what we're going to try and do this morning: is keep going at it, get it off, get it out of the way, and then because we've got a new one to go in, so it don't matter if I break it, don't matter if I snap it, break it, whatever. It, it's got to get, it's got to come out. So, yeah. <clears throat> That's the first job, is to get this wheel bearing sorted out today, this morning. Um, and then we'll jump on the rear pads, get that uh, all sorted out, then take it for a test drive. Again, just check to make sure uh, that that noise is gone. I know a lot of people were saying in the comments yesterday, not a lot, but a few um, mechanics probably, um, who knows, but they were saying that side to side um, is the tie rod end um, and up and down is the wheel bearing um <clears throat> but i checked up and down side to side and all the wheels and the only movement on those wheels is on that passenger side so i just assumed that that is what's going to that's what's going to cause the noise because it only it happens when you're driving not when you're braking so technically it shouldn't have nothing to do with the, with the, with the brakes um if it was the tire rod end i would be hearing a knocking and banging there's no, nothing like that it's just a whining noise, <clears throat> a whirring noise, and the faster you go, the fast, the, the louder the noise gets. The slower you go, the the, the 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 quieter the noise is. So that to me definitely points to a wheel bearing, and that's the only wheel that had the movement. So yeah, let's get cracking. Let's see if we can get this done. Let's do this. Right, okay, so guys, let me show you what I did last night before I left with this wheel bearing. Um, as you can see, there's a cut in this little section that was left over. So that actually sits down onto the top, to the bottom here, it sits down. Um, this is actually part of the wheel bearing. <clears throat> but um, when, you, when, you, when, you, um, when you bang them out, this part stays down on top of that. So you've got to separate it. The only way to do it is to cut it there um, and take it away. The only mark that I, I got, that was left was a little tiny one there, a little scratch. Um, so, but yeah, apart from that, that is all good. So that's that's all done. That side of it is ready. Um, <clears throat> we've got to crack on with this, guys. This is what it is. It is just a pain. Um, it's just an absolute pain to get them out. You just got to persist with it and keep going um and eventually it will it will come loose um i've got different types of oils i'm going to try and use this one uh got a worth oil let's see if it's worth what it is it says rust off plus um so i'm going to try some of this as well let's let it soak around just just keep just keep trying to get that off i just need to get something behind that little bit there if i get something behind there and start levering it it should just pop out, and then it should just 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 pop 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 pop, and just work it all the way out. But it's just, yeah, it's not it's not playing, it's not playing board a minute. Um, so let's set up. I've got to get this done this morning. Let's do this. Right, finally, 
guys, I've got this snap ring out of the way uh, and off. Um, I managed to get it off in one piece as well. So nothing snapped, nothing broke. Um, I just managed to sort of start it at one end and sort of just keep working it, working it, spray, working it, spray, banging. <laughs> but um, yeah, got there in the end. Um, got it out of the way. It's an absolute mess in there. So we've got to right tidy it up, get all that rust out of the way. Um, this actually helped inside the vice, just holding it steady, just whilst I'm whacking it, because on the bench, when you're whacking it, it's moving. So you're not getting that, that force um, that you're trying to sort of get into. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, but um, it just shows you, doesn't it? Just walk away, go back to it and in the morning, another day or whatever, and it just went, you know, just come out. So within, what was that? 15, 20 minutes, um, it's, it's out. So now we're going to continue. <laughs> now that's out of the way. That problem is solved. Um, we can continue now. Getting the rest of the bearing out. We're going to use the press, get it all out of the way, uh, clean it all up, um, and then just reinsert the new one. Um, and we can sort of, um, yeah. Can actually move forward now. These these bearings you have to put them the right way round because on one side the, the, the reader, uh, the speed sensor has to pick up uh, this side here, which is the brownie side, um, not that side, the shiny. It needs to pick up this side. Um, so yeah, you always make sure you put them in the right way um, for the speed sensor to pick it up. But let's um, continue. Let's get that pressed out, clean it all up and then we can start putting this back together and back on the car. So let's do this. Right, guys, finally, we have got this bearing out of this hub. That took some force. I think the needle, that needle went right up, more or less halfway. I think it was like, I can't even see what mark is now. 10? Is it 10 or 8? Eight? 8. I think it went up to 8 um, bar pressure <clears throat> on that. But, you know what I mean? Because it was so, it's so rusty in there, um, it kind of st stuck. Do you know what I mean? But... Um, as soon as you could put a bit more pressure, it went bang, and then that's it. I knew that that released, um, and then just pressed it the rest of the way out, and away we go. So all I've got to do now is clean up. This is going to take a while. We've got to clean up all that rust, get all that off. Um, <clears throat> where's my brush? I've got a drill somewhere with a brush on it. Where is I put that? Um, <clears throat> I have to use that wire brush, uh, scotch pad as well. I'll get a bit of scotch pad in there. Um, a little bit of this. Get a bit of this. Get it rubbed around there. Just really clean it up. In the edge as well, where the, where the actual new clip, <coughs> where that seats, that's got to be right cleaned up in there. It's got to be really, really clean. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll get me oil can. And then I'll just put a little bit of oil on the new bearing around the edge. And it just helps when you push it in. So, yeah, going not too bad this morning. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, we just need to do that cleanup process, which is going to take a while. But let's crack on. Um, let's get that done. Press that new bearing inside. And then we can, um, yeah, put this piece, <clears throat> the bottom piece. Um, that's got to be pressed in a certain way. So it's a bit of, yeah packs of front and all that sort of stuff but let's get the cleaning done first and then we'll move on so let's do this
So guys, finally, we're going in the right direction. So yeah, as you can see, got the snap ring in, got the bearing in place. Um, and then now I just want to make sure that that sort of is central because that's where the um, speed sensor will come in um, to read that magnetic strip that goes around there. So you just got to make sure that the, that snap ring is is essential. It's probably a little bit to the left. Could probably come around to the right a little bit. So I might just move that, um, and then you just put this small um, straight. They're like straight ones. It's like angle ones and straight ones. Put it like that, and then you just sort of kind of pull it together, which is tight, and then it kind of moves around like that a little bit. And you can let it go. Uh, it's probably, it's probably about there. It's too far now. Too far, too far. I'm trying to do this one hand is a, a bit of a nightmare, but I'm gonna try it. That's it, got it going. That's it, that's better. Okay, so, yeah, so the snap ring's in place. Um, we've just got to put this flange, if you want to call it a flange or something. Um, <laughs> put that in place. Basically, now that goes on top like that. Um, and then we're going to put that on top and then slowly press it press it down. Um, you have to press it on this inner, inner ring. So we've got to find something that's got to go inside. Um... Maybe that's a little bit too big. Try and find something else that will sit nicely um, and snug. It's a good thing about these little these metal um, rings. Uh, you could just got like different sizes and different different ways. Uh, that will probably do it if I if I if I did it like that. Because all I'm doing is trying to get it on the bottom of the actual bearing. And then just push it down into this then. Um, and then that's it, it's seated and we can carry on. So let's get set up, I'll do that. And then once I've done that, it's back in the car. So let's do this. Right, okay, well, there you go. That is it, that is the wheel bearing done and it feels solid. Like when I'm moving it about, no movement whatsoever. So that must have been the issue, must have been the problem. Um, so yeah, so that's done. I now wanna move on to the back. 
But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin the car around and so the back end is this end. It's just easier for tools and stuff like that, bits and pieces. So, so bear with me, I'm gonna spin it around, get set up, um, and then we're gonna get, get these back wheels off, get the brake pads changed on the rear. Um, hopefully that's gonna be a bit more straightforward than doing that wheel bearing because that was a bit of a nightmare, but it's the first time using my press um, <clears throat> and I think it's come out really well. Definitely need needed these. Um, this this is a if you're going to get ever get a press, this uh, is a must have. It really is so good. Um, it just gives you a, a lot more options when it comes to sizes, being able to find the right size to fit around, the right size bearing in between and stuff like that. You can sort of move them around. So it's really really good little kit. <clears throat> anyway, that's enough waffling about that. Let's spin it round and get cracking with the rear brakes. Let's do this. Right, okay, so guys, that is it. That is the pads done on the rear. Um, so yeah, nice and new. Um, it wasn't that bad, but I just had a, just, they were just getting low. Do you know what I mean? So it's definitely worth doing it. They started uh, you know, attacking the discs a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so they was needed, really. This one was the worst one. You can see that it's starting to... Um, yeah, it started, to, it started to sort of leave a line going round the disc a little bit. Can you see that there? So before it got worse and before the disc got any worse than that, it just changed over the, 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 the pads. Um, but I have been looking around this car because he did say to me, he said, can you just check it? Just, you know, if you see anything, let me know. Um, and I have found something which I've got to be honest, even when I'm driving it in and out, in and out here, I couldn't hear it, and it's really, really weird because this should have been blowing like it had no exhaust on it, um, straight through pipe. Because 
let me show you what I found. Um, can you see that there? Look, like that is just, it's completely off. It's, com it's completely off. Look, look at that, look. It's completely split away from the back box. There, that exhaust. So I am gonna mention that to him, obviously. I'll say to him, look, watch the videos, you can see it if you want, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show him when he when he turns up and picks it up, I'll say, look, you need to go and get that done. Uh because yeah, that that's not good. Um But like I said, it's not I can't it's not been I've not been hearing it. Look, you see how much it's been kicking out of here, look. The, the exhaust fumes have been kicking out against the actual bottom of the back box. Look at that, look. So, it's been doing it for a while. Um, but very strange that I can't hear it. I'll just have to mention that to him. But he, he did say to me, just, just if you've seen anything, let me know. Um, and I'll definitely be letting him know about that. Because that's not good. <laughs> that is not good at all. Uh, it's not doing MOT yet, but that's going to be a failure. Um, if it is, I think it's got, I think it's got about three or four months left on the MOT on this one, uh, but that will fail. So anyway, let's get, I'll get that wheel on. I'll get it outside and then we'll jump on to the next thing for today. Um, I'll work out what we're going to do. Um, and we'll go from there. Probably it's going to be the Fiesta, the flood damage. We're going to have another look at that to see if we can seal seal up anything else, mastic anything, check it over. I'll bring it in and we'll just go from there and just keep keep persistent with it really. That's all that's all we can do. Um and just try and that to find that, that water leak. So let's get this out of the way and get the fiesta in. Let's do this. Right, okay. So guys, I've bought the fiesta in, got the cougar outside, so they're on their way in a little while to pick that up um and that one should be done um <clears throat> i did actually tell that for a test drive as well to make sure that it's all good no more noises no more squeaking so hopefully that's fixed um but he just needs to get his exhaust at the back to sort it out because that's not good um but yeah got the fiesta in and i've borrowed a um camera scope um system connected to the laptop you can see it there so um, at the end, you've got a little light, um, and that's the camera there. So wherever I point to, basically, I can see, yeah, what is going on. Um, so the plan is to really get this up there to see if we can see anything. It's pretty dark in there, so I'm going to have to get some an extra torch or an extra light or something because that light just isn't enough for the camera to pick it up it needs to be brighter than that so yeah that's the plan that's what we're going to do now um and see if we can actually work this out once and for all where the water is actually coming from um going to pour it with a bottle going to pour it in certain um situations like around this hinges because it can only really, because I've sealed up everything else. This is all sealed up. That's not that's not going to leak. So it can only be coming from these rails around these hinges here. It ain't that hinge on the on the tailgate because from underneath it's completely dry. There's no water in there whatsoever. I will check to make sure, but I I think that's not the issue. Um, it's coming from this corner. So I'm going to leave the lights in for now. Start doing some water tests, start messing around, see if I can work out what is going on and seeing where it's coming in from. We should be able to do it. I, I, you know, it's, I know it's both sides, but like we're even getting a little bit of water here. See that water there? So it's dripping down from somewhere. I might even take these seat belts out of the way, get them out of the way, remove those seat belts both sides so we can have a really good look at, um, see where it's coming in. It's dripping down. This, this point here is this, because if you imagine that there, yeah? It's not coming over here, so it's nothing over this point. It's something over this point at this height. So maybe it is around that hinge. But yeah, let's see if we can find it, and we'll go from there. And um, I'll set you up. Let's do this.
Tell you what, guys, this is so frustrating. Um, even with this um, camera, I can't actually physically see where it's coming from. We are still getting... I'm doing some water tests, and I've got to be honest, I really, I really need to take it back outside, uh, get the... Um, the, the uh, you know, the Karcher pressure washer and then really soak the outside of the car. And that's what I was doing yesterday. And it was coming through a little bit on both sides. So I really need to do that again. I'll put the lights back in. and I just Up here, it's completely dry. So from this point here, through there and up, it's completely dry. So something's, it's coming through something here. I don't think it's the rails, because that's the highest point. Um, I don't think it's coming from there. It's not, it ain't coming from the hinges, because that's underneath there is completely dry. But it, it's it's doing it a little bit, but not not as much as yesterday. So I really need to get um, I really need to put it back outside. I can't. It, it, this camera is just it's not you know it's it's all right, but like when you put it in. It's pitch black. The, the, the light's not good enough um, to really light it up inside. And there's no sort of... Um, there's no focus with this. Like, if you think about it, like that, that there, it, you know, that's a, good, that's a good sort of... I'm quite a distance away from, from the actual boot lid. Um, and it's showing that. So there's no real sort of way of making this camera focus a bit more. Otherwise, I could see a bit more, but it just, in a minute, it's not, not really doing me any good, this camera, I've got to be honest. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to put the lights back in and take it back outside. So, bear with me for now. I'm going to do that. Um, and maybe even if I get someone in, in, the, in the back whilst I get it soaked up to see if they can or see it and pinpoint it. Maybe do that. I don't know. I'll see if anyone's around that can do that for me and help me out for a minute. Um but um, yeah, for now, bear with me. I'm going to take it outside and do the water test again to um, mimic what I did yesterday. That's what I need to do. So bear with me, guys. See you in a bit. Right, well, guys, this just continues. Um, trying to find these water leaks on these Fiestas are an absolute joke. I don't think... Um, well, I've done loads of Fiestas. You guys know that. I've done loads of Fiestas. I don't think, really, I've had one that's as bad as this. Um, it, it just will... I just cannot find it. I've sealed everything up. Um, the only thing I haven't sealed up is this hinge part here, around here, um, and the rails at the top of the roof. Everything else has been sealed, um, and there's no water getting in. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lights back out, dry everything off, um, and I'm going to remove the rails from the donor car, which is this one here, and see how easy they are to come up, because I don't want to bust that one. Um, I'd rather bust this one on the donor car. So I think try and pull these one up, these ones first. See what's like behind there. See what's going on. Because um, I think this one's leaking as well. I've got to be honest. I think this one's had, it's been leaking because these seat belts are a bit um, mouldy as well. Back of the seats mouldy. Look at that wheel. Look. So I think water's been getting into this one as well uh, somewhere. Don't know where. Not really interested in finding out where it's going to be coming from on this one. I'm just interested in getting these rails up to see, yeah, how hard it is or what's behind there, what's underneath there. I've never took these rails off before. So I think a good starting point will be with this one. So 
I'll set you up. Let's get these off. And then if it all goes well, let's get these off. I know these are going to be a pain to put back. Because um, I don't know really. I'm just, I'm just guessing. I'm, it's just guessing. Because we don't actually know where it's coming from. Um, but it can be coming from a numerous amount of places. And, and, you know, normally it's up here on this corner. I've checked online. I've looked on YouTube. There's nothing on YouTube when it comes to these rails leaking. Nothing. Not one video is online saying that these rails are leaking. Everyone else has gone to these points here. This corner point here, around there, and around the lights. Which I've done. They're sealed. Um, but I think, <laughs> go back over them, redo them, mastic it. Um, I'm going to do a section of mastic around the top of the lights inside the parts. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But I'm going to do like a bridge. <laughs> So that if any water does run here, it runs away from the actual light section of the rubbers. It won't touch that because I'm diverting the water away from it, if you know what I mean. I'll show you in a little while. But let's get set up. Let's get them rails off first. Let's see if we can finally get this sealed and done. So let's do this. Right, okay. So, guys, let me show you um, what I've done. So, I took the, the, the roof row off, this here, all the way off. Um, and I'm checking to see what it's like in there. So, let me just show you. I don't know if you can see that. But th that's not, that's not, that's just a lip. Um, so, that's, that's not going to make it leak. There's nothing, from this point here, there's nothing that can make this leak. The only thing that can make this leak is those cracks in the paint, which is very, very unlikely. And this back corner here, can you see it? Just, it just pulls up a little bit at the back. Just close that a little bit. Just at the back there, it, it lifts a little bit and you've got you know quite a little gap here so i know that this is another car and we're trying to fix this one but i'm just trying to compare it to see what it actually looks like this is probably going to be the same um on our one a red one um and it's just got like a little that little lip there looks like that's high so all i can really do on this one is lift the two bars at the back it's i don't think it's anything down here i think it's at the back because you can actually see that, that the actual bars lifting as well there it actually lifts up on both corners like it lifts you see it there look so maybe that's lifting up too much and it's not getting that seal anymore because obviously over time been in the sun this plastic is going to perish um and it's and it's possibly going to lift on the back ends I don't know if it does it on the fronts so it even does it on these look which is nothing but these are the ones that, you know these these are the ones that seal so i'm thinking now that it's just behind here probably about that much behind underneath this 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 rubber rail it's underneath there so um, yeah, let's now have a little attack at these ones and see if we can find.
Right, okay, guys, let me show you what I've just found. So, took the lights off, cleaned it all up, dried it all back, because I'm going to re-mastic everywhere again. Um, I have lifted these rails a little bit up to that, that point there, just to see what it's like. And I've got this torch. Um, I'm going to show you. Wow, that's bright. So... It's kind of different <laughs> to the one that's outside, but I don't know if I can get you in there. Let me see if I can show you. Can you see those cracks going down there? Look. So possibly it could be going in there, into those cracks there. Because there is nowhere else on this that it can be going from. It's, it's actually looks in better condition than the one that's at the front, the donor. Um, this is in, yeah, this is this looks in better condition. But right at the end, you've got this crack here. And you've got like a slit just there. So possibly it's getting in there. So I am going to reseal it, stick it back down, and see if that is our culprit and our cause of this leak. Possibly it is. The other side, it's just, just I can't see nothing but that there. That's come up a little bit. So that could be causing the problem over this side. There. Possibly. Like, like a gap, a filler. And then the crack goes down as well a little bit. Possibly, possibly. So, yeah, I'm going to spend a bit of time there. Masticking up that. Mastic both sides. Masticking again round here. Go over the top of it. Just mastic again. Got a bit of mastic over here as well. Where the lights are, you can see I've put a little bit of mastic going around the edge. And then when the rubber goes against it, it seals it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a thicker bit of mastic here, from here, all the way down like that. That way, the water will bypass the top of the light, and the, the mastic, the big, the thick bit of mastic will stop it, like bridging it, bridging the water, getting into this this light again. Um, I'm going to do this grommet because I forgot this one, so I need to do that one. Right, okay, so guys, I hope this does it. I really, really hope this solves the problem. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, lifted it up, sealed underneath, pushed it back down, stuck it back down nice and sealed, um, <clears throat> and then just went over all the mastic. I even went around this hinge as well, went around there, done a little eyebrow <laughs> for the light so that when you put the light in, the water's gonna get hit there and then just run off both sides. So it's never gonna never gonna hit that light area again. Went over all the rest of the mastic where I've done it, just went over everything, guys. Just to just a double check and just double go over everything that I've already done. Stuck this side down as well. Um 
yeah, I really, really, really hope this is going to solve it. Don't know until it's completely dry, the mastic. Um, so I'm probably going to leave this for a couple of days now and let it dry, really, really dry off. And then we'll check it again in a couple of days. If it's all good, we can continue. Um, and then we'll just go from there. That's all, we, that's all I can do is keep checking. But I've sil sil siliconed and sealed up everything that, that it, it could be. There's nothing else it could be. So, yeah, really, really hope that's going to do it. So that's going to be the end of today's video. Um, I've run out of time today, guys. But we're going to be back tomorrow on something else, on another one of the projects. I don't know what we're going to do yet. Um, can't do the, the, the Toyota Argo because I still ain't got the parts. <laughs> I still ain't got the parts for that. Uh, might be able to jump on the Focus, or we we'll, might be able to jump on this one, um, the other red one. I don't know yet, but we'll see. I'll work out a plan. Because um, we've still got to pull this as well a little bit as well with the new machine. We'll just have to see how it is um, and what's the plan for tomorrow. But for today, that's it. That's the end of today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to drop me a comment. Give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Take care. See you soon.